Welcome into sports. I'm Jeff Roberts. He's Tim Guidera. It's day three here at Augusta National, the night before the 88th playing of the Masters, Tim. Yeah, very exciting. You know, we are about to see the best field this season going head to head. Uh, the signature events on the PGA Tour have brought the 70 best players on tour together. You add 13 live players, including four past Masters champions this week, and we've got a lot more players who could potentially win this championship. Well, Tim, one of the Coastal Empire's very own Brian Harmon is in his sixth Masters this week. He was the very first player that was made available to the media on Monday, and he's just so excited to be here. And he says he's been playing more recently to kind of get that rust off ahead of this major. Yeah, he played the week before the Open Championship last year and won. So he changed his preparation routine this week, played the week before the Masters, which I don't think he's ever done before. He is so much more comfortable. When he was in that interview room on Monday, he just seemed like he belonged there. And he was ready for anything that was asked him. And he just knew that he has done everything he could to prepare and maybe have his best Masters yet. Here's a bit of what Harmon had to say on Monday. So I know that I can play this golf course well. It's just a matter of getting my game in the in the right form to to play, and that takes a little bit of experience. And you know, you're going to see yourself hit some bad shots around here. It's just it's just part of the, the the pressure of this place, and being able to get over those, and just knowing it's a long week, and there's just certain shots that you're going to have to execute. And for, for me, it's it's like a it's like a math project. You know, you just I, my game has to be here for me to be successful, and so I'm really focused on trying to. You know, that litmus test of getting the game where it needs to be first before I worry about contending. Well, Harmon is scheduled with an early afternoon tea time on Thursday with Brooks Kepka and Tom Kim, two of the many big stars out here this weekend. Absolutely, but uh, you know, the number one player on the favorite list is the number one player in the world, Scotty Scheffler, who has dominated the PGA Tour the last two years, probably like nobody since Tiger Woods. But he is certainly not alone as one of the players who can win this event. Uh, you mentioned a couple of the guys from Live, Brooks Kepka, uh, Dustin Johnson, always perform well here. Johnson having set the Augusta National scoring record when the tournament was played in November. Uh, Rory McIlroy, another one who we are all expecting to someday win at the Masters but there might be at least a dozen guys who could end up winning this tournament. You mentioned all of those names. The best part about this tournament is that they're all made available. They spoke to us on Tuesday. You know, if I cast my mind back to 18-year-old Rory and I'm, you know, driving down Magnolia Lane for the first time, how would I feel? And I think it's just always trying to go back to, you know, being grateful and, and feeling incredibly lucky that you can be a part of this tournament and you get to compete in it every year and enjoy it and, and smell the, I guess, not the roses, the azaleas along the way. That's the neat thing about this golf course, and this is the only major we play on the same site, the same venue, each and every year, and we get to tell stories and um, catch up with friends, and um, for me, get a chance to catch up with you know, idols and the people that I've, I've looked up to my entire life. Well, for Rory McIlroy, there has been a lot of success for him in the last decade plus here at the Masters. Outside of missing the cut in 2023, seven of his last 10 playings here at the Masters, he's had a top 10 finish. And overall, looking to complete that career grand slam, the Green Jacket's the last one that he needs. Yeah, and it has just continued to elude him. Uh, he has looked a little bit like somebody who wants it too much. Uh, he's taken himself out of the tournament early and then had a couple of backdoor top tens. Uh, this year, as you mentioned, his preparation is completely different. He's trying to come in here a little bit under the radar, maybe a little less attention on that potential grand slam. But uh, it is a, a tournament that... He has all of the skills and assets to win. It's just a matter of putting them all together on the right week. Tim, I'd say that's kind of a, a common thing across the board. There are a lot of big names that haven't won recently that are trying to get back in that winner's circle. Of course, the Green Jacket's one of the most coveted trophies in all of sports. But this tournament may have to wait a little bit. There's a rain system that's coming through Augusta on Thursday morning that could push back the start of, of the first round. But regardless of that rain, there is going to be a champion crowned in the 88th playing of the Masters. Yeah, you know, every year they threaten, oh, we could have it carry over to Monday. Every year, Augusta National seems to figure out a way to get it to finish right around 7 o'clock Sunday evening. Well, it's a well-oiled machine around here at Augusta National, and we will see that champion come Sunday, and you could watch it all on WTOC. He's Tim Guidera. I'm Jeff Roberts at Augusta National for WTOC Sports.